everyone, my name is Bruno Simao, a specialist property attorney at Intigen. Intigen is a tax and legal consultancy firm specializing in private wealth and wealth preservation. We assist our clients in, in their structuring by looking at things like asset protection, tax efficiency and financing optimization. In our investment journey, structuring forms a pivotal role in ensuring that the wealth that you're creating is actually preserved properly, it's optimized and you're making the best use out of it. We believe that focusing on three primary principles will help everyone achieve this goal. Now these principles are quite intuitive and it's something that everyone knows about. But piecing them together, making sure that they balance, that you find the perfect equilibrium is where the challenge is. We're looking at things like asset protection, we're looking at financing optimization, we're looking at tax efficiency. And these are all things that we speak about on a daily basis, but what do they mean? So when I speak about asset protection, there's a number of different facets to this. It's the protection of um, your business from your own from your own problems from your own personal life you want to make sure that any assets that you have are protected from anything that you may do any mistakes that may happen but similarly you want to protect yourself from any issues that may happen in your business and the way of doing this is by using certain vehicles and, and, and placing your investment in these vehicles in order to create this buffer between yourself and them Another consideration for asset protection is putting all your eggs in one basket. The last thing you want is to work hard and, make, and, and build a massive portfolio where everything is in one place, only to find that one wrong move places the entire investment in jeopardy. Questions like this and uh, problems like this um, are what we focus on. We, we focus on finding the solutions and bringing these to you so that your asset protection is properly optimized and efficient and you're covered um, any way that you look at it. Now when it comes to financing optimization, and this is something that we work with our partners on. Um, the, our approach to our approach to the banks and the way that they want to finance property investment varies and it differs on a month-to-month -month basis so it's very difficult to um, to pin down exactly what the banks want when, when lending you money. But your finding, uh, financing optimization focuses on the fundamental principles on getting yourself to the best place possible so that you can ask the banks for money, and if not the banks, private investors, a foreign investment, whatever the case might be, you want to make sure that you look attractive. And there's a number of principles behind this. So for a moment, let's step away from how a, a bank, for example, would look at us, and let's 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 maybe consider how we want to look uh, for anyone wanting to 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 lend money to us or uh, wanting to partner up with us. And so, for example, things such as your financial statements, ensuring that you're not so tax efficient that um, you don't seem to be a profitable company or a profitable business. We need to find the perfect balance because if you want to appear a certain way, you need to run your finances in a certain way and this is what we mean by financing optimization is getting yourself to that place where you reach the perfect balance. One also needs to remember that after a couple of years of, of trading, of running a business and running your investments and being profitable, you are going to be able to use, the, you will be able to use these entities in order to obtain the fi uh, financing without necessarily having to rely on your own affordability because remember guys, when you start out the banks, the lenders, the JV partners, they're all going to look at you and they're going to want to make an assessment on you and your character and your affordability. Uh, but after a couple of years of running this business, if you use your structures properly, no one will be worried about you. You will be considered a business. <clears throat> and your investment will be able, it will, will grow its own two legs and be able to function, hopefully without you having to be at the helm the entire time. And that's the goal. That's what we're trying to get to. So uh, the, behind all of this, we, we try and tweak it. We work with our partners in order to get you to that place. Now, tax efficiency is something that my business partner, Shili Boy Motiba, is very, very passionate about. And he will dedicate an entire section to this. But by tax efficiency at a very, very high level, what we're trying to speak about is not necessarily not paying tax, 
Because with that comes its own downsides. Like I explained earlier, if you don't pay tax, how do you appear to be a profitable business? No one says that you should not pay any tax. The, the wealth preservation side of things is to make sure that you optimize what tax do you pay. Is it lawful? It, it's not difficult to structure an entity so that you pay very, very little. The problem with that is you will consistently get pushback from SARS. You will not be able to optimally use your business to obtain finance. And so what we do is we look at your business and we structure the flow of money in the best way possible in order for it to be legitimate, to still appear profitable, but for you to spend as little tax or to pay as little tax as possible. Our primary focus, uh, just to give you an example, when, when we start out with our clients, is to look at long-term tax efficiency. Now what people don't realize is on a long-term basis, if you pass away tomorrow, more often than not, you pay somewhere between 30 to 40 percent of your estate in costs, uh, be it estate duty at 20 percent, um, executors fees, um, capital gains, a whole range of taxes and costs get incurred upon your passing away. So even just on that basis, by structuring properly, you can save up to 40% of your estate where you do not need to worry about this anymore. Another, another example is the short-term tax efficiency. Some people want to draw this income, but they don't know how. Um, that they, they worry that some, some of our clients are in very high tax brackets, meaning that as soon as they get an income, they pay very high tax on that income. Now, there are ways by placing strategically um, properties in trusts or properties in certain companies where you can reduce the tax liability by finding the most favorable tax rate and ensuring that the money goes towards the persons that pay the least amount of tax but yet are deservant of the money. So concepts like this are what we need to look at and what um, we're going to be focusing on over the next couple of, of videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoy.